Is there anything more ordinary than bread? It's the very commonness of bread that makes it the perfect metaphor for our lives. Look, if we're honest, most of what we do is ordinary. We get up, go to work, paid or unpaid, tinker at our hobbies and try to do our best. We shuttle kids around, mow the lawn, shop for groceries, and for the most part, nothing about our daily lives sets us apart from the people around us. It's just life. And like bread, it's just ordinary. Maybe that's how you see yourself. Maybe you've settled for a life that may not matter that much, or you're living with an unsustainable, manic drive, grasping and grabbing for something that always feels just out of reach. Or maybe you're wrestling with an unkind voice, the one that says that you just don't matter and you're less than and you're never enough. I have good news for you. There is more to this life than what you see. Throughout scripture, we discover that nothing is as common as it seems, not even bread. Bread fell from heaven as a sign of God's provision. Bread became a metaphor for the law of the Lord. Jesus fed the multitudes with loaves of bread and referred to himself as the bread of heaven. And then on the night that he was handed over to suffering and death, Jesus took bread, blessed it, broke it, and gave it to his disciples as a picture of his body being given for the life of the world. In fact, every time Jesus took bread in his hands, he did those same three things. He blessed it, he broke it, and he gave it. And I think those three words can reshape the way that you see your whole life. To be blessed is to have your true identity recovered and your true calling revealed. To be broken is to be opened up to the grace of God and to a community formed by that grace. After all, bread that is not broken cannot be shared. And to be given is to discover your mission for the life of the world. This book is an invitation to find glory in the ordinary, grace in the mess, and purpose each day. So place your life, like bread, in the hands of Jesus. Let him take your story and make it sacred. Let him make you blessed, broken, 